Hey y'all, welcome in. If you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. And if you are returning, welcome back squad. I'm here today to do another general collective reading. We're not science specific here. We're also gender fluid. I may say them and I'm talking to you. May say you talking to them. Uh, put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Remember that time and energy are fluid. So I could be talking about the recent past. I could be talking about the present hour. I could be speaking about the future. Take only the parts that resonate for you right now. Leave everything else behind. Um, if you're new here, I also recommend that you go back into my archives, maybe six to eight months. The readings, um, as reported by my clients, some of my readings do reach out into the future a little bit. So um, always beneficial. Go into the archives and see if there are any titles like even up to like a year ago. See if there are any titles back there that really stand out to you. Go to those videos. You will find some very relevant information back there that will help you out right now. All right. Um, if you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all my information is below in the description box. My books are always open and I invite you to join me for a session. As you guys enter, if you could please give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate into the algorithm and get this in front of the eyes that need to see it the most. I'd appreciate it. Hope everybody is doing good and feeling good. Um, I'm not a fan of the fall season, not a fan. My daughter and I are complete opposites when it comes to this weather change. Um, she's okay with, with fall weather and she likes to, you know, be bundled up in a hoodie or whatever. I, I, I like, I like my sweats, you know, that they're comfortable, but I need some sunshine. So, um, looking outside and seeing it being all gray and dreary, not a fan. And I'm in Southern California, so the, the burn off won't happen for a while. It's, it's still really overcast outside right now. So hopefully we'll get a little sun in the next few hours. Let's jump in, um, see what Spirit wants to talk about today. Let's see. Give me current energy. Oh. Door to romance in the upright. Sec second chakra, Archangel Ariel in the reverse. So <clears throat> maybe door to romance. The door to romance is here. Maybe somebody is not very happy or they're not getting any pleasure or... They're not getting pleasure out of the connection or not getting pleasure in the options that they may have. Um, somebody could be in a relationship and they're not getting any nookie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. What's the obstacle? Ah, okay better context um it feels like somebody may be dealing with some financial issues so it so part of while the door to romance may be wide open somebody feels a little i want to say they're not really happy about maybe pursuing relationship options simply because they're having financial difficulties right now they could be dealing with some stability um some stability issues. Okay. What's the lesson? A little bit. Damn. Okay. So. This is an interesting message. So I feel like part of somebody's um, lesson here. <clears throat> okay. So it feels like the person. The person that maybe having some financial difficulties or whatever, they may have a very unhealthy attachment to things and stuff, material possessions. Um, they may also have some kind of really weird perception of... <sighs> There's so much going on in my head right now. It feels kind of like, um, okay, thank you, Spirit. What this, it feels kind of like the, 
somebody's having a real struggle with like kind of like identity their identity is tied up into their self-worth it feels very Aries and Chiron like Chiron's an Aries right now and it's the wounded healer Aries is the first house of self this really feels a lot like somebody's perception of their own value based on the money that they have it's this is a really weird energy yeah so they're not oh so <clears throat> Okay, so somebody's identity is largely tied to maybe the money that they make or don't make, okay? Um, even the bottom cards kind of support the same energy, and I also feel like... Oh, okay, I just got a download. So, you know in other readings where we talk about someone who they made a wrong choice so like they chose because they thought the grass was greener somewhere else so maybe at the time that you might have been dealing with this person because i'm trying to figure out how it's connected to the collective so you may have been dealing with this person at a time where maybe financially you might have been kind of you know on the other end of the wheel we'll say right you were on the opposite end of the wheel I feel like what's happening right now is there's been a shift in balance. And so now collective is in a better financial position. You are here holding a coin. You got the blossoming abundance and the cards that are opposite are literally being out of balance and, and, and being kind of in a reverse situation. And so someone feels it's really interesting because it kind of feels like maybe in the past this person they made a decision again they were focusing on the grass that's greener elsewhere they didn't appreciate this this kind of goes with the reading i did yesterday they didn't necessarily appreciate like the the loving nature that you may have had like you know the warm and fuzzies that you norm that you probably gave to this person they didn't really appreciate it so they made a decision to go after something that was you know shinier prettier whatever um or they chose to not focus on the relationship with you and they chose to pursue financial you know gain and you know go off and build their career whatever they did okay um and now it feels as though this person may want to re-enter the picture but I think with their face, with their kind of, it's like almost like somebody having egg on their face because it feels like it's almost like slapping themselves after the fact. You know, they didn't see your potential, we'll say. They didn't see your potential or they didn't give a shit about your potential. They just, they were kind of looking a very, I'm, I'm thinking very surface level. Whatever, whatever they were looking at, it was a very surface level thing and so now they're again they're they're kind of kicking themselves here because collective you're in a better financial position you're in a very stable space and now they are not so stable it's almost kind of like they oh it's so weird because it's almost as if like if you were like they didn't find benefit or they didn't find value in your presence as long as you weren't like if you weren't making the same kind of money that they were making or didn't have the same type of, you know, financial possessions or whatever, whatever that is. They didn't they didn't appreciate the love that you poured into them. And they they may have also looked at you like, well, the reason why you pour in all this love is because you didn't have anything else to give. That is a really gnarly way to look at relationships because relationships aren't about or should not be about what you get out of them. So shame on you for thinking that. All right. Let's get into it. Yeah, 
also collective, I feel like Okay, so if this person, whoever this hostile ass person is over here, if they're, and they're also, here's the other thing too, part of their hostilities is also stemming from the fact that you may have let them go. So your attachment to this person, whoever this is that you were dealing with, your attachment to them is no more, Okay. And I'll explain why, because I'm looking at the tarot cards. You decide to move on. You know, it, it, you may have felt at one point that this was the, like I heard, a final destination. Like, you may have thought at one point that this person was, you know, your person or whatever. But based on whatever you were getting, especially if somebody didn't appreciate the love that you were pouring into them, you decided, you know what, I'm going to cut my losses. I'm going to... I'm going to go, right? I'm not going to let this shit play in my head anymore. I'm not going to keep going back and forth as to why this person doesn't show up for me the way that I show up for them. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and take action. I'm going to go seek my happiness elsewhere. Um, and this person that you're walking away from, the only thing that they can do is literally watch you walk away. That's, they don't really have much, they don't have any other real options but to watch you walk away. Mm-hmm. Yep. Especially if the person that you were dealing with, listen, listen, listen. Especially if the person that you were dealing with was kind of like cold towards you or like emotionally detached they did they kept secrets or you felt like they kept secrets from you um they weren't necessarily they never really told you or they probably weren't very upfront about the way that they felt um and definitely what you got was not what you wanted it wasn't what it wasn't the kind of relationship that you were looking for um and so, again, I love all of this energy. I feel like I'm talking to Divine Feminine because the queens are in the upright and the king is in the reverse. So, um, I feel like you just got really determined, Collective. Uh, determined in a way where it's like you know what you want and you're not going to compromise. It's It's... Literally kind of the conversation that I've been having for all of the time that Aries has been in the North Node. You're you're choosing what you want for yourself and you ma you're making choices based on that and not compromising what you want for the sake of being connected to another person. So particularly if you've made th these very significant moves over the course of the last year, it's appropriate, you know. Um, I feel like you decided to make moves that were more focused around people and situations that actually did see your value because this person didn't see the value of your presence in their life at all and so it's it's almost like uh going where the love is you know you just you just decided to, to go where the love was and again the only thing the only recourse that this person has is to kind of watch you from a distance while you're being celebrated and loved on by other people who do see your value Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Especially. <laughs> All right. Especially if you had an option. I love the way these cards fall. Collective, you may have had an option. The same for everybody. Put yourself in here where you, where you fit. And for those of you who have not yet, like if you've walked away from a certain relationship um, and there's, you know, you don't have a, a, a significant person that's kind of like waiting in the wings. Um, 
I do get the energy that you have new beginnings that are, are, are coming towards you. So just, you know, remain patient. Um, everything happens in divine timing, not our timing. You know, God's kind of in control of how that happens and when it happens. Um, but what this looks like, <clears throat> you had a choice. And even if this is not necessarily a choice, because I, I mean, King of Cups in the reverse or the Emperor, which one would you choose? You know, um, which one would you choose? I definitely see where you've got this, you know, if you've, if you've not met them there, I feel like they're, there's an energy that's very close to you. Um, if not, this is just you standing in your power and making decisions that are empowering to you and making decisions that are more in alignment with what you do want in your life, because you won't have what you want if you're still entertaining what you don't want. Let me say that again. You will not get what you want if you're still entertaining something that you do not want. Because the the, the universe is going to kind of respond in the, it's kind of like that law of attraction. It's going to respond in the energy that you're in. So if you're in an energy where you're accepting bare minimum, baby, you're going to get bare minimum. But if you step into an energy where you have a higher expectation, I'm not going to minimize myself or what I want because somebody can't give it to me. You got to go because you're taking up space right now. Right? You are moving away from situations and, and honoring yourself and honoring what it is that you want. Um, you don't want to have to deal with a relationship that puts you in competition with other people trying to vie for the spot that you're in you don't want that and the person that you were dealing with absolutely had you in that energy absolutely put you in third party situations because they did not know how to be faithful this person did not see your value and gave very very little they gave l very little to the relationship why because they had all these carnal desires for all these other people. So they, this, I heard whoever has the most hoes wins. Like that's kind of the mentality that this person lived in. Like, you know, they felt like if they had, it made them feel like the big man. Oh my God, this is awesome. This person felt like the big man because they had all these bitches that are just, you know, falling all over them and listening to all the bullshit that they're spitting. Um, and I get the impression, even though the Queen of Swords has not come out here, I get the impression that collective, the energy that he usually uses on, that he normally would use on these broads that are all falling around him, that shit didn't work on you. It didn't work on you the way that it works on them. <clears throat> At a time, maybe it did. But once you started healing and once, you, you know, your eyes began to open up and you are really started to see people for who they were and you really started using your discernment, you could easily tell that something, something wasn't right. Mm -hmm. So the person... I'm using, I'm using two completely different decks that I did not use yesterday, but this whole section is kind of the same story from yesterday. It's like someone thought the grass was greener on the other side, and that's what they chose. So they chose, but the grass that was on the other side wasn't actually grass. What it was, was somebody who was literally the opposite of the divine feminine. It was somebody who was materialistic and greedy and, and clingy and needy. Um, if this is a mother, she's not a very good one. Um, focuses outward in such a way where she's so busy worried about everything and everybody else. She doesn't pay any, own, any attention to her own life. 
her own situation. This this masculine may be worried about because I kind of feel too like <sighs> they may have lied to it's kind of like they may have gotten themselves involved with someone and then kept it a secret like say they got married or whatever you know or they got married or had a child or something but they didn't tell you. But what they're also not talking about, I'm like, my phone is just blowing up. Um, but what they didn't tell you is that the relationship, it's almost like the woman that they, maybe the woman that they, that they became involved with lied to them as well and tried to pass herself off as being something that she's not. And then... Um, and now that they're with this person, there is, I have, I heard there's a resistance. There's a like a been a weird kind of pushback. So these two people don't see eye to eye. Um, it, I heard fake generosity. I don't even know what that means. Fake generosity. But it almost feels like the person that they got with totally selfish and and it's and it all affects their relationship like this this man chose somebody they chose somebody for the wrong reasons okay Oh, and now they're watching. <laughs> okay, and now they're watching you because. Oh, shit. Okay, so this person may be watching you or you may have somebody that's like stalking your socials now. Okay, and I'm getting two messages here. Now, the person that's watching you you could actually have two people watching you. You could have this masculine watching you and you could have this woman that he's with or whoever he's been with. You may have her watching you as well. And they're watching. It's weird. They're, they're watching you, I think, for two different reasons. So she may be watching you because she kind of sees that her castle of dreams is starting to fall apart. So... I kind of feel like her her reasoning, I think I mentioned this like maybe two or three readings ago, I feel like her reasoning for being in this relationship was for financial stability, okay? He got into the relationship, I think, one, there was some type of, you know, sexual chemistry, there was attraction or whatever, like she was busting it wide open, whatever, because um, clearly he's into that. Um, but she also passed herself off to being somebody that she's not. So that's a whole separate thing. She's not who she says she is, okay? Um, so Because there's lies, there's lies, a little bit of confusion around, like, who she really is, okay? Um, I feel like this masculine, this, this one whole section right here is really weird. Because I also kind of get an energy of, there's someone here who may be investigating or looking into something that seemed to come across very unclear for them. Like they, they didn't, couldn't really get any clear answers. So now they're highly motivated to go after the answer so they can get some clarity. So they may be looking into someone or looking into this person that they were with, this fake person. Um, and I'm also seeing too where like this, there's somebody here whose stability is definitely being shaken this could be like somebody losing their home the truth about somebody losing their home losing control of a situation something being aired or something being brought to the surface something that may have been done in the background oh shit this whole line so there could have been someone here there could be somebody here that oh god so originally this was looking like, you know, a divine, this is a lot of people here. Okay, let me, let me, 
I'm like, I'm, I'm getting confused, not confused, but like there's a lot of different stories here that I'm seeing and I want to make sure that I touch on all of them. Okay, so the original, what we started with is you have a masculine out here who was just, who misused, mistreated a counterpart. I want to say this could have even been like a false a false twin flame type situation. You know I don't resonate with the twin flames, but for those of you who do, um, this almost comes across like a false flame, okay? Now, this masculine energy is real big on appearances, how they appear in the world, how people look at them um, and judge them and they feel... You know, it's almost like if they have a high status, they need the person on their arm to also be of high status so that people can look at them with revered respect. Okay, whatever. Um, this is screaming, keeping up with the Joneses. Um, but this person, like I said, they thought the grass was greener on the other side. Um, collective, you chose to kind of quickly evacuate the area that's so quickly evacuate the area i don't even know why those words came out like that but you left you decided to leave and you know seek out the support and the love and the, and the nurturing from you know people that actually do see your value okay we got that now like i said the woman that he chose to go after or the ch that he chose to partner with I do see that relationship coming undone. And I want to say it's largely coming undone because he may be discovering some truths about the person that he decided to connect himself with. Okay. Um, I also see over here where he may, he may be trying to hold on to his resources and assets. So like, Say, like I said, the woman, this woman may have married him for financial security. So right now he's kind of struggling to like if there's a divorce or something, obviously he doesn't want to lose the assets that he's earned prior to having her in his life. So he's trying to protect what's his, especially his, his, his resources. He's totally trying to do that because he's no longer interested in working or being like he does like whatever this relationship is or was he no longer has any interest in working towards you know building it or working to keep it going i think i mentioned in other readings there may have been a child produced now there may have been a child produced child might not be his or there's a child present, but the child might not be his. It's almost like, <clears throat> like maybe she may have tried to lock in with this, with this masculine saying that she was pregnant. But the child was either not his or she might not have been pregnant. Or she potentially could have lost a baby, but that that's for a small group. But she may, I'm, ooh, she may have lied about getting pregnant. Yeah, she may have lied about getting pregnant, but he's looking into something because that, like, there's something here, like, I heard the charade is over. There's something here that's, like, literally, it's crumbling. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, one extra card here. We'll take it. What did I say? I said you're, the Queen of Swords had not yet come out, but now she's here. All right, Collective. 
And even though I know I'm not speaking, I'm not my, I'm, I know that I do have a, a, a bunch of men that watch my channel and I appreciate you guys for being here. Um, so wherever you are on this board, somebody has been lying about who they are. I also get energy here of, the, there's potentially here some type of dark magic or somebody here that has been doing something over you, over this masculine, or over your connection to this masculine. Whew, this is a lot. I don't think I've ever had this part of the story ever come out. Because what I'm seeing here, I do see there's something coming out. And I want to say it has something to do with this dark priestess, this witchy woman. So the woman that he's connected with, she has definitely been lying. With the moon here in the reverse and the seven of swords in the reverse, there's something about to come out here. And, the, and this woman, okay, because these are connected to the woman. This woman here, whoever this woman is, the woman that he's connected to, she's obsessively stalking you, watching, digging, looking into you, wanting to know where you live, wanting to know what's going on with you. Like she's trying, and I'm also kind of seeing too this energy of, I mean, it doesn't really matter what this woman has been doing. Like if she has been doing juju, it doesn't matter because it's not hitting you. So don't worry about that. Um, collective, as far as as far as I'm seeing for you, you appear to be in very solid energy. You're very grounded. You're you know your guards are up. You are being very protected. You're using your intuition to kind of allow. You know you're using your intuition to guide you in the direction that you need to go in. Um, I also kind of think too, that this woman that he was with may have been trying to cast some weird juju because what did I say in yesterday? I think I said in yesterday's reading with that this woman, she knows who the divine feminine is. He, she knows who the divine feminine is. She knows about the relationship between this divine feminine and the divine masculine so it's almost as if she I want to say she's she is kind of bitter and angry because she sees that you know the divine feminine is nothing she's nothing like the divine feminine at all but because she also knows how this masculine feels about the feminine she's trying to do like I don't know, cast some magic or whatever, L literally to keep him from coming towards the feminine. He's trying to keep, she's trying to keep this witch, witchy woman, whatever, is trying to keep this divine masculine from going towards his feminine. She's trying to prevent like a new cycle or, or prevent somebody from wanting to enter a new cycle. This is a lot. I'm also getting energy too where you, <sighs> this is a lot. So I also have energy here of someone, because now I'm looking at the way the cards are crossing. Okay. Somebody here may have been like trying to discredit someone spread rumors but the rumors that they're it's like the rumor mill the rumors that they're trying to spread it was meant so that this that the divine feminine would like lose business lose business opportunities especially if this like totally they're like i said discrediting so if you're on a public platform or if you have you've got some type of social media presence 
this person may have been spreading rumors about you or just talking shit about you to prevent people from wanting to work with you or for to, or to prevent people from like literally from wanting to work with you because they're trying to say like you don't know what you're talking about or that you you know that you're a fraud or whatever but in actuality this person is a fraud because they're literally n they're the complete opposite of the divine feminine complete opposite and I feel like whatever you are doing, Divine Feminine, whatever you are doing, they're watching you because they're trying to see what you are doing or working on, but they can't see, they can't see your work or your work product or how you work. There's a lot of, lot of shit here. They can't see how you work. So because they can't see how you work. Okay, now I'm getting a, a diff, another. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm looking at a different. I'm When I when I lay all these cards out, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I have six rows of cards going down and five rows across. So I've got a bunch of cards out here, right? But the way that I look at the cards, I'm looking at the cards the way that they're connecting to one another. Across, down, diagonal, in a circle, in a triangle, like I'm, you know, in a diamond formation, like because they're all connected. They're all connected. So I'm also seeing here too, like, okay, they can't move. This person may also, whatever they're doing, they may not be able to move forward because they cannot see your process. They can't see what you're doing. Okay, I think I mentioned this a couple of readings ago. They can't see what you're doing, so they don't know how to block your progress. They don't know how to block you. They don't know how to stop you from doing whatever you're doing because they can't see what you're doing. But because they can't see what you're doing, they also can't steal from you. So this goes up with that intellectual property theft. They can't, they can't take from you what they can't see. I just heard they don't understand how you're so damn happy. Yeah, they don't understand it. They don't understand. <laughs> and let me tell you, they don't understand how you're so happy. They don't recognize like like the, the amount of work that you put in to whatever it is that you do and the fact that you love it. Like you... You have a very healthy appreciation for yourself. You have a healthy appreciation for, you know, what you do for a living and all the people that are in your life. Like you have a true sense of love for life. And this person, child, she don't, they don't understand. You could be a truth teller. And this person's becoming unhinged. Because literally they're on the outside. Yeah, I said like there's a there's a change. There's a shift in the winds because now you're on the upper half of the wheel because of your hard work. And now I do get the energy that you may have somebody that wants to come towards you, um, maybe with their hand out looking for some type of financial assistance. Um, but I feel like you may have already learned your lesson with somebody. You've already healed as you've, you know, retrieved, retracted your energy from them. You're coming across as very confident, very ambitious, um, very much like a leader. People see you as a leader. They're, I feel like you're very respected. And this person, um, like I said, if they're a mother, they're not a very good mother. They're wor so worried about everything and everybody else that their whole life could be like imploding because I definitely see where they're losing resources and they don't they're they're uh, there's definitely a loss of traction for them um they feel like they're losing control of everything that's going on around them she may be worried about this masculine going back to a past situation yeah she's upset because she may feel blocked yeah she, there's there's definitely a breakup here or some type of separation Somebody may want to come towards you. Somebody that you've been in conflict with. Um, they they want not to be in conflict anymore. Um, but again, that's also that's up to you. 
All right, let's clarify where we time wise. This is an interesting read. Oh, so, okay. So this woman, because I just caught a row that I didn't, I didn't even consider. So this witchy woman may have recruited other people to come up against Divine Feminine, but now they've kind of lost all control. Like this person, like I say, I've been, I've said it and I've been saying it for months. Whatever this person wanted for you is actually what's happening to them. They may be trying to hide it. They may be trying to hide it. Remember I said somebody got like a bright idea, right? But that bright idea is not turning out so hot for them because now they've lost control of the situation because of their lies. They potentially are losing their home, their stability. They're trying to keep that from people. They don't want people to know. But maybe it's being seen. They, this person may have also, I'm also getting energy here. Somebody, like if there had been some type of theft, or now I'm talking about some, this could be anybody, literally. Now, if there had been some type of um, theft, th this is giving me that intellectual property thing. If there had been some type of theft of intellectual property, um, they may have to let it go. They may have to release it something that was yours or something that was due to you they they have to release it okay this one's kind of all over the place I'm not even gonna lie What flipped yeah like I said somebody's at risk of losing their home they may feel like uh, I heard unsettled somebody may feel unsettled they don't really see the yeah somebody here maybe have lost sight of what's going on in their lives and they were trying to go after something that they thought was theirs but maybe took some shortcuts and thought that they could get away with something yeah somebody hasn't learned any lessons like i said somebody here may have get, like grouped up with other people May have grouped up with other people, but now there's some type of disharmony within the group and they don't really have much of a choice but to go with the flow. They're not going to get a second chance to do anything over again. Yeah, somebody did not learn. They didn't learn. A, they didn't. They, they Somebody keeps repeating a cycle because they refuse to conform or they refuse to kind of fo I heard follow natural order whatever that means to you um, and this person they keep making the same choice so because they keep making the same choice okay thank you spirit this person keeps making the same choice okay so that's that's number one and I don't know who I'm talking about because there are a lot of people out here. But somebody keeps making the same choice. They're repeating a cycle over and over again. And they feel justified because when I said this is somebody who doesn't want to conform, the energy that came with it was very hands on the hips. Like, you know, you don't, have, you can't tell me what to do. Like, that's kind of what it was. It was like, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do, basically. And because this person keeps choosing, I know so many of these people 
who keep choosing to do what they want to do, how they want to do it. And they don't understand why they keep ending up in these circumstances where their life is upside down. They're potentially at a space where they may not have a home or they may be losing, you know, losing the home that they live in. Um, they have no peace. Their friendships and the people that they've been aligning themselves with, those relationships are breaking down and they're coming to an end. And what they're getting is literally a reflection of who they are. What is what's left? Thank you, spirit. What's left in their life is a reflection of who they are. So this person and they don't really have much of a choice but to go with the flow at this point because they created this they never thought it's it's really weird because they never thought that this decision would keep them the same kind of decisions i'm going to say because it's next around and round and round and round is talking to me about yes it this person and i'm sure that this person did think about it a lot before they you know in some instances because i didn't get like it's you know some some instances yeah somebody gets a bright idea and they just go after it but this is a person who repeatedly makes the same type of choice and repeatedly gets themselves caught up in situations that are made a mirror image of who they are i don't know if this person has finally if the light bulb has come on for them to see the making of their life and how everything has transpired is solely based on the the decisions that they make especially when they're like i don't have to do i don't i do what i want to do well okay keep doing what you want to do but that doesn't mean that you get 50 million chances to keep doing the same shit over and over again thinking that you're going to bounce back and you're going to recover and everything. yeah you will bounce back and recover but not after a lot of hard ass lessons learned Somebody here is definitely trying to learn the hardest way. To me, it's insanity. Keep doing the same shit over and over again. Because you don't think that you have to conform to change or you want to, you know, you want to do it your way. That's fine. Do it your way. But don't be upset. When everybody starts walking away from you because they don't want to get on the same shit train with you. They don't want to be on that roller coaster with you. You made these decisions. Make them for yourself. Live with them. When people start walking away from you, live with that too. When your life looks like a shit show, it looks like a shit show because you keep making crazy ass decisions. And expecting people to continuously be loyal to them. Make that make sense. You want, they, they do what they want to do, how they want to do it. Now they're upset because they don't have no help. That nobody is coming to their rescue. They're hoping that people would be, people would be loyal to them. And literally, this is karma's way of coming back around when you least expected it. And they don't have no choice but to just accept it. Their mask is falling. People are seeing them for who they are. And now they're being forced to have to think about the next steps of their life. What are they, what you going to do now? Somebody in this community or somebody in this grouping of people that they were working with, somebody here told them the truth. Somebody here may have told them the truth. And it was upsetting to hear. Hell, you collective may have told them the truth at some point. And I definitely get the sense here that somebody is getting a, they're getting a, um, a wake up call. Yeah, they only see things the way that they, they see them. They don't want to do any kind of work to change it. Um, Listen, and it's weird because I get somebody here who doesn't want to go away. Jesus Christ, <laughs> just go away. 
There's somebody here who feels like they didn't have closure, so they don't want to leave until they get the closure that they're looking for. Or if they're not looking for closure, then they're looking for something to actually develop from here, and I don't see that happening. It almost feels as though somebody just hopes that you have enough love to just stick around. Nah, that's not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. That is not happening. I don't know if this is going to make it to the channel. This is kind of a weird reading. Yeah, and so now people are <laughs> people are wanting to compete with you, Collective, because now you're in a different position. Yeah, you're stable and you are a child. You are so protected. And the reason why you're stable is because I kind of feel like I heard you rose to the occasion. You rose to the occasion because you didn't have any help and you had to help yourself. Mm -hmm. You rose to the occasion because you had to help yourself and you've got somebody here in your energy who wants to be in your position but they don't want to do any kind of, they don't want to do the work that it took to get you where you are and now they just want what you have this is somebody that you definitely don't want to be bothered with though i can tell <laughs> the tower of the devil this is like i said this is not somebody that you have any desire to be dealing with they never expected your your circumstances to change. I say you. We started off here with this. The very very beginning of this reading, we started off with the fact that somebody did not see your value, because even though you may not have had a lot monetarily speaking, you had a lot of love to give, and this person just could not see past that. They didn't care about the amount of love that you gave. They were looking for, you know, appearances and financial security and. Like my kids used to say, you get what you get and you don't have a fit. They tried to win at all costs and bop, 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 they lost. Ten of cups in the reverse. Yeah, they lost. All right. I haven't used my truth deck in a while. Let's see what we got. Someone needs to seek expert help. Someone's checking your social media. We have friendship out here, family influence, your family or, or some friends may be involved. Self-love, <clears throat> inconsistent. Somebody here has been inconsistent. This could have been somebody that you had deep chemistry with. Someone is going to contact you and they want a commitment. Five more, please. Somebody here may have children. Maybe in a committed couple, there may be some improvements within your relationships. Somebody is seeking closure, and then we have quit. Uh, the following dates may be of significance. August the 4th, August the 1st, August the 13th, June 1st, June 14th, June 10th, July 10th, July 5th, July 14th, or 15th. Um, June 4th, June 10th, July 1st, 711 could be a significant synchronicity. 1414 may also be a synchronicity for you. Um, January the 10th. January the 4th or 5th, January 14th or 15th, October the 13th, October the 5th, October the 4th or 14th, October the 1st, January the 14th, 
January 1st or January 10th. Did I say January the 15th? October the 15th. January 7th. July the 6th. April the 6th. April the 1st. April the 10th. April the 8th. separation somebody had a wandering eye they will speak up collective do nothing there's nothing here for you to do someone returning a relationship will go to the next level space is needed forgiveness is also needed september the 15th september the 16th april 6th november the 6th november the 7th or 8th august the 7th august the 6th august 11th august the 16th Increase money, communication problems, and business. So there may be some communication problems uh, in dealing with business. There may be some space needed between you and another person. Bottom of the deck is insecure. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to grab up some of these index cards. Grab a stack from here. Grab a stack from here. Stepbrother may be involved or significant. Somebody's a, <coughs> excuse me, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Your silence is loud. Somebody is unfaithful. Somebody refuses to take responsibility for their actions. We have a cheating man or a woman. Spirit says open your windows or doors to breathe in fresh air and fresh energy into your home. We have an unfit mother out here. Somebody claims that you're an unfit mother. Somebody has sex without love. Several failed attempts to stop you. There's an intense chemistry and attraction. I had that up there before. Um, somebody's been gifted since birth. Somebody is angry that their attempts have all failed. Somebody's mask is falling off. They cannot hide anymore. There's a loss of money or resources and assets. November could be of significance. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. Verbally, emotionally, and a mentally abusive person. Somebody says, I know that you're angry with me. There's a Capricorn here that's significant. There's forgery or falsification of records. Spirit says, go have fun. Release mental burdens for good. The month of December could be also of significance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Capricorn. There's a jealous sibling or cousin. Somebody here is unbothered. There's a toxic relationship or this person being in a relationship with any of these people is toxic. Um, there's a distorted feminine out here. There are family members that are involved. The month of October is significant. Uh, could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. And finally, somebody is a gold digger at the bottom of the deck. They're lost without you. So I have Capricorn, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius is out here twice. Scorpio is out here twice. Capricorn is out here twice. So those are placements may be very significant stepbrother um an unfit mother jealous siblings or cousins and a distorted feminine okay i'm gonna leave it there guys if any parts of this reading resonated for you or give you clarity over your own situation give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate into the algorithm and get this in front of the eyes that need to see it the most i appreciate you guys for being here with me today thank you so much for the like share subscribes tips donations super thanks and all of that all the new bookings thank you captain reed for showing me love always i love you big 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 i love you guys so much thank you for being here i appreciate each and every one of you take care till next time